You fought very well. Now, the village is safe. By my hand. Why are you- You shall die! Ying Long, every bit as strong as the rumors say. <laughs> My companion or a smile as he departed this life, falling on the field of battle. I was unsure of what I ought to do to protect those dear to me. But you, a warrior as valiant as a dragon, have shown me the way. I, Zhao Yun, shall pierce through the darkness, enveloping our age. An army of a hundred thousand might stand in my way, but it would matter not. For like a majestic Jilin, I shall carve out a road to peace! Dragon of Heaven, bear witness to our unshakable bond and unbreakable will! Corrupt officials, eh? That's good. I will do justice to them for what the law has not done. My dutiful blade has slain thousands of scoundrels. And yet there's no end to it. It's as if this war only claims the decent men, leaving nothing but scum. As true warriors, we are honor-bound to defend the innocent. I'll prove I'm no mere brawler. I want to see people smiling again, and I'll do what it takes so they can. With chivalry in our hearts, let our strength match that of the Qinlong itself. The Swan Clan strength rivals even that of a ferocious tiger. Our descendants are destined to establish their own dominance one day. But before that, we will have to deal with that malicious Chi, who will cut through the darkness that engulfs this world. Will it be I, or perhaps it will be you, my worthy rival?
I shall not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Xiao Xiao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Chu Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire. upon us. Thank you very much. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. <sighs> the night will burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. As one whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky, all that I can do is offer you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side, that I may ensure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> 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 What's going on here? General Sun! General Sun, he's... <sighs> Father... Is that you? Death! Hold on! Father! This is what happens to those who disobey me. <laughs> Take heed for when the time comes for you to answer. You bastard! <laughs> Get back here! Curses! Father restrained us from completely losing ourselves to bloodlust. And then, in sacrificing his life, he set an example for all Swen descendants to follow. Our bloodline is not to give succor to the evildoers. We are to strengthen ourselves, and one day, bring order to this land. Your claws are not those of the tiger like ours. However, we want you present as we set off. And sail towards a bright future, as kings overseeing an era of prosperity for all. With our ship's helm adorned by that liar Taoist's severed head. Ugh. <sighs> 
He was the person I always wanted to be like. To catch up to. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. Shao soldier. You were young. You were young. Curses. What should we do? Stand back, Miao Tai. <laughs> the Shao Duan I know is not the sort of man to give up so easily. charges. We've been there to give our blades and support. It's up to us, the Shaho clan, to guide Mungda on the path to victory. My arrow will pierce any who dare to raise their blade to him. He's like a brother to us. But your genuine chi is formidable. You knocked sense into me when I was in my demonic rage. So maybe you'll not be needing my bow, huh? It's no mystery why boss rates you so highly. We'd follow you into death's abyss without hesitation. We'll ensure he commands over all the land. You just watch. Hmm. <clears throat> 
elixir. It all ends here. And now. I knew immediately that I had to destroy Yuji after finding out this chaos was his doing. A Taoist spreading a vile elixir and controlling demons has no right to tread this land. I could not allow the people of my village, who made me who I am, or my one and only flesh and blood, to get caught up in this madness. That is why I left my village and pledged a false allegiance to Dong Zhuo to infiltrate their forces. I hoped to track Yuji's actions. I swallowed my pride and did their bidding. I brought the elixir to Meiwu Fort and was able to prevent it from spreading among the lords. Yet, I was still unable to pin down Yuji. So, in my desperation, I risked everything. I stole the elixir. I figured if I sat on it without using it myself, he would eventually show his face. And it worked. But... I came one step short. You bested me. Perhaps you can take Yuji down. The responsibility of bringing an end to the spread of demonic chi is in your hands now. You are all bound together in life, and so too you will be in death! So, either forget about me, run! And so we made our first step out into the world. I have fought hard and lost so very much. Nearly even my life. But even in my darkest moments of despair, there was one thing I never lost. The belief in my brothers. You showed me my beliefs were not misplaced. And so, with even stronger bonds to support me. 
I shall continue to strive forward. highly respected for his official rank. I too held him in great regard. Yet he willingly set me off as an adopted son, severing the bond between father and son. After spending time with Amon, my trust in the bond between people was somewhat restored. However, when those who I considered friends left me as I stood before my capital in flames, my fragile notions of those bonds were shattered. All that I could cling to was the power I drew from the Crimson Glow. In the end, even that was not sufficient to lead me to victory. I can scarcely believe that a true bond holds so strong and shines so brightly as this. I suppose I ought to thank you. The ultimate elixir rests out of my reach yet. But you have given me no choice. <laughs>
history, the clan that bears the Dragon's Elixir Field become known. And so, I sealed off my eyes and the terrible power within them. Yuji drained my body's energy in his effort to create an ultimate elixir. However, I resisted and prevented his dark power from controlling me totally. It was my belief in you that allowed me to do this. Seeing you bravely fight on. Never losing faith in your allies for a moment. Has given me the courage to now open my eyes.